Shout out, okay, first of all, shout out to Queen's Throne TV. This is her video. Let me turn the volume up because I'm watching this on my out on the TV. I don't know when she did this video. This right here is Sonetta. These people who I don't watch. Sonetta and I don't know if it's random people. Some of his crew. A combination of both. But I know Garfield is on here. And so far from what I'm hearing, shout out to Garfield because he the only person that's taking up for the victim. Which is standing up for what's right. Inappropriate behavior. Everybody know polite. Everybody know what polite is being charged for. So, this conversation that they have, it, I, I got to get to the spot. Close to, to the spot where I'm actually I'm listening angry. to. I'm angry. I'm angry. Listen, y'all... Man, listen to this. Listen to this. I arrived, and then I seen him the day I was leaving, and that was it. And I ain't seen polite. I seen I seen polite two times when I pulled in and when I was leaving. You think I spent my vacation hanging out with polite? No, I seen him the day I arrived, and then I seen him the day I was leaving, and that was it. His hotel was way far away from my hotel. Check. So come on, man. That's crazy. Right there. Peace to the King Sonetta and peace to the chat and the panel. And of um, course, you got some people saying that um, Sonetta is trash, which he is. But they're saying he's trash because he's still sticking up for Polite. Um, and Polite did this thing, right? You know, with the young lady. Which is pretty bad. And he's about to take a plea deal from what we know. They have a plea hearing, right? And Polite came on and said, I didn't take no plea deal. Of course you didn't because the hearing didn't come yet, but it's arranged for you to take a plea deal. And for those of y'all who don't know, this child was underage, about 14. Supposed to be the daughter of someone polite may have been dating. It was a Mayweather fight. And polite took the young lady. Supposed to have been taking her to an after party. Which, that shouldn't have happened. But he took her to a hotel, and she allegedly um, could have been drugged. She had um, bruises, swollen lip. His DNA tested semen was on her clothing. I, I believe they said three spots. This is a hearsay, y'all. This is a whole court case going on. Lip busted, bruised, she was dazed. And he brought her back to a mom like that. Okay. So, you got people in the community not only defending polite, but trying to, you know, say certain things about what the young lady should have, shouldn't have, whatever, whatever. It's some sick people that's going to enter into this uh, panel from what I can hear. Including an older guy. Who wants to question why the girl is hanging out with Polite and talking about some, it's a girl in her neighbor, his neighborhood. She looked 21. Magic number, huh? It's it's just, these people are sick. Let's just listen. I just want to say one thing is um everybody kind of taking this and going sideways because to me, this was about how people are abusing you. At the end of the day, huh? in every situation, people tend to take this. Is this a, a chick? She said people are abusing Sinetta. Every actions out and blame you, bottom line. They take their anger out. Hold on. For those of y'all who don't know, I believe eventually Queen Strong has um, a meme of Sinetta looking like Don King because he's the one brought all these nuts, clowns, and bolts onto the quote-unquote, what used to be quote-unquote conscious community. They have been a bunch of just conscious hoodlums, scammers, just a whole bunch of just years of just terrible, horrible things, right? Including horrible things towards women and children. Sinetta knows about Polite. He knows Polite has some bad habits. I was putting it nicely. He's called Polite Baby York before. And... 
Yeah, if y'all seen my previous video, then you know Polite calls Dr. York, Malachi York, the one who went to prison, the one who had that compound in Georgia, and who, you know, was doing horrible things to children. A lot of the children were his own children. Boys and girls. Okay, for years. And he pled guilty. Polite defending him, worship him, look up to him, call him his daddy, all kind of stuff. Right? Even went against the victims. Sinetta so called out Polite, called him Baby York one time when he was mad at him. He said that um, he accused Polite of doing some similar things with the young lady. I'm not going to get into all that. But Sinetta so knows. What type of person Polite is. He knows. We know that he know. Okay. We know that he know a lot more than we know. And what we know is horrible. So for this chick. To come on here. Who I don't know who she is. But this is really sad. On you. No matter how the outcome comes. And they get mad at you about it. Um, You can know somebody. And then that person turn around and go to work and shoot somebody just because you know them. Can we call you the murderer? They don't have no, no, that's how she sound. Polite has done horrible things to people time and time again. So I need to lie for him, stick up for him, still promote him. You know, still, because, you know, everything is revolving. You'll have a group of people in a five or ten year span that know very well about this community know about these suckers and know not to fall for their bs right okay they phase out people are born every day black people is are the amongst the a group of the most lost people in the world a lot was stolen from them so they always looking for something something that can give them some hope some identity Lots of things, right? And here, here they run into this crew. Sonetta is constantly recycling polite to the new groups that come around. And he somehow managed to get people who should know better. But for whatever reason, they still might fall for it because why? One big reason is because Sonetta is still promoting him. Again, I don't know who this chick is, but just imagine this attitude that she has towards the situation. And her being the mother of a victim, the aunt of a victim, the neighbor of a victim, the teacher of a victim, social worker of a victim. There are many women out here like this. Many. Now, if you know a guy and he goes to work, <laughs> And he pow pow, you know, everybody at work. Okay, you didn't tell him to do it. You didn't know he did it. He had, hadn't, as far as you know, he hadn't done it before. You haven't been promoting him, knowing that he could potentially do that to the next group of people. How is that relevant to this situation? Polite has scammed people, many people, out of lots of money. And being called out for it repetitively. Okay. He has been called out for doing inappropriate things and having an inappropriate lifestyle in different categories. And he, 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 people know about it. Even Sonetta call him out, yet he still promotes him. So how is that the same as... You know somebody and they go do something. You, we can't be responsible for what other people do, but we can choose not to help them, aid and abet them in their dirty work. Okay? Her analogy would only work if Sonetta went to the job with the dude, held his gun, kept his bullets, or took him in... You know, to his job. Oh, I want y'all to hire him. He's a good worker. 
and all that. He's going to be a great asset to the company, knowing what he just did in another state to, you know, he he shot up the last company he worked for, and he in another state he did it, in another country he did it. That's the only way that this would work. You see how far off that is? This is a sick chick. Real sick. I'm glad we got your face right here because you a sick ass chick. Just because you are loose. No, we cannot. But you just because you knew that person don't mean that you knew he was going to murder somebody. Just because you knew that they were a wife beater. Just because you knew that they do things. You didn't know that that person was capable of doing things like that, but they can't, anybody's capable of doing anything. But now that just because... But he did know he was capable. Where's she been? Huh? She didn't know? And Shalanda knew? Of course she knew. She's speaking on it. You gotta know if you're speaking on it. Get out of there. You knew that person made you say that you you knew that person to do that kind of stuff? No, you that doesn't. But y'all hold him accountable to everything. Everything. At the end of the day, Sonetta can't breathe right because... He the Don King. He the Don King of bringing all these suckers out here. So, yeah. When people don't want to deal with Polite no more, they um, they say they tired of his mess. They don't want to see him no more. You know who supports him? Sanetta. You know who brings him back around? Sanetta. You know who practically begs the quote-unquote conscious community to give Polite another chance? Sanetta. He didn't breathe somebody else's air. Oh, because I never knew this person. That makes I never affiliated. How is this possible? That makes no sense. But then let this man start hollering and cussing and carrying on. I just told you how it was possible. Who is this chick? Huh? And we say he wrong about that too. Yeah. But which one is? The time when I called Black Polite Baby York, we were banging. And I remember the relationship he had no. with, this, with this other woman who used to be his wife. I forgot her name. She broke off with him. And um, she was coming up with allegations saying no. what he did. He did this and he did that. And, and he, he's messing with my daughter. And so I heard it, but I don't know if it's true or not. And so what happened was, the minute me and him got into a heated discussion, that's when I brought that shit out. And I said, all right, baby, you're, but I don't know if it had any truth to it. I'm going to be honest with it. I said it because I was hurt. I was mad at him and he was going at me. But did I say it? Yes, I said it. Why did you say it, sir? See, that's the question. Because I heard one of his baby mothers attacked him, who is no longer with him. And he was supposed to be going to court. Oh, go. Sorry, did 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 we did we hear this? Did he come right behind her and say what he just said? Come on, come on now, come on, let's go. The relationship he had with this with this other woman who used to be his wife—I forgot her name. She broke off with him, and um, she was coming up with allegations saying what he did. He did this, and he did that, and and he he's messing with my daughter. And so I heard it, but I don't know if it's true or not. And so what happened was so, the minute me and him so got so he this is how smart Sinetta is. <laughs> he decides that he's going to self-snitch and prove the woman who just came up there and tried to defend him to be wrong. He is telling y'all that a woman that Sonette, I mean, Polite used to mess with made accusations. He's trying to be vague, but he did specifically state that the woman made accusations that Polite was messing with what? Her daughter. What did he choose to do about it? He's telling you right now. He's telling you. So I heated discussion. That's when I brought that shit out. And I said, all right, baby, you But I don't know if it had any truth to it. I'm going to be honest with it. I said it because I was hurt. I was mad at him. And he was going at me. But did I say mm -hmm. it? Yes, I said it. Mm -hmm. Why did you say it, sir? See that? Queen, hold on. Hold on, y'all. So this is a thumbnail with Dr. The him looking like Don King. Now, I, I'm going to look for the video. I know it's still floating around online somewhere. I'm going to look for the video. Now, this would have been a perfect place for her to insert that video. He knew it was true. It wasn't just somebody told him, you know, and maybe she was trying to hurt him or tarnish his reputation because they're not together no more. It was no situation like that. Sarnetta so spoke on this in matter-of-factly fashion. Okay, he was very clear that he knew because he said the girl was kin to him. He said uh, his sister's sister's child, his niece, something to that effect. I know some of y'all listening that remember this, but I'm going to 
try to find a video. Matter of fact, just let me do a quick search. Hold on, hold on. Okay, shout out to Renegade Podcast. Shout out to Renegade Podcast on their channel. Okay, and I'm gonna share this on my community tab. I'm gonna share Queen Throne video on my community tab. It says Sinetta Call Polite Little Dr. York. Malachi York. Y'all can look up Malachi York. Okay, the guy who is uh, up for the plea deal that we're talking about, polite, honors and worships Malachi York, even tried to lie and say that was his real daddy. That's because he don't know who his real daddy is. People think he's Nigerian, but, you know, if you see him, he's he's from Zamunda or something like that. But um, <clears throat> allegedly, I mean. <clears throat> Video of Stanetta exposing Brother Polite years ago. Now, right into it. Now, before you listen to this, I want the the whole point is that this dude is over here saying, <clears throat> and this was earlier this month. Um, that they did the video that we're listening to on Queen's Throne because the seventh was when Polite was supposed to go to court and have his plea deal hearing. People were talking about it. He came online. He said, I didn't make no plea. And then when the hearing came, Polite was absent, I think. Either way, they postponed or rescheduled it to, to uh, something like that, okay? So, because Sonetta was saying the seventh is right around the corner. Why y'all coming at me? Why don't y'all just wait for the seventh to see what happens? Because he's trying to say it's not what we think, et cetera, et cetera. Again, still copying for Polite. I'm pretty sure Polite probably pay his rent or something like that. I don't know. But Sonetta is saying that it's hearsay and he's not sure if it was true. He was just mad. They were beefing. So, he decided to come out here and say that Polite was um, maybe messing with another girl, little young underage girl, but we don't know um, if that's true. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Okay, well, let's see what the honesty really is. I'm in the car. I'm driving. So somebody sent me the video and said, yo, Polite going in on you. So I said, well, send me the video because I'm driving. So let me see what this dude got. Let me see what this clown ass nigga got to say. I got up to the part where he was sending subliminal shots, you know, Talking about the finances and nigga, I got the money and I can send somebody to come get you. And that's what the nigga saying. That's what he was saying. You see, ain't nobody stupid. Fuck you, polite. Ain't nobody scared of you, nigga. I know you's a bitch because I seen the bitch in your eyes when Captain Tesori, I told you to cross the fucking line, nigga. So you ain't scaring nobody. Who you gonna? Now the last video I did on polite, I showed that part. I showed um, when Captain Tesori told him to cross the line and all that, right? They arguing over religion and stuff like that. Now, that was years. When I say years, I'm talking about years ago, okay? Some of y'all had babies back then that are probably in, like, junior high now. That's how old that video was. Since then, Sonetta, the Don King of the fake-ass conscious community, has single-handedly promoted Polite to where Polite is the most successful scammer out of all his... Um, little projects okay so you, you see you seen to be in him now he'll be because you mad at him but every time he do something egregious you defend him now we're talking about messing with underage girls okay we're talking about messing with underage girls you want to get your, your, your quips nigga who you gonna get I'm outside every day. You're not scaring and you're not bullying nobody. All right? All you did, nigga, was told a lot of lies. Talk about the scamming, nigga. What you mad at? You mad because I came out and denounced your bitch ass? You mad because I came out and told the people that you were scamming? What I was supposed to say nothing? Huh? You mad at that? Let's deal with one of the things you said and you... He admitted what we already knew because he was mad at Polite at the time. And it, it, since then, he came back and said, yeah, y'all give him another chance and... You know, he, here we go, and, you know, promoting them and promoting them and promoting them. And, again, this is the Internet. 
everybody's not going to be abreast of what's going on here and there and 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 especially nowadays these youngins don't do no research they don't do no studies they're not going to go back and look for old videos and they're not going to hear the old rumors we're not in the same neighborhood we're on the internet so when they find Sarnetta and they have their opinions thinking, oh, this is, a, you know, uh, they think it's better than what it is and safer than what it is. And they see him promoting polite and polite is promising you all the riches and glory. And he's out here flossing and he's hanging with Mayweather and he's telling you he's going to correct your status and your credit. And he's going to uh, have a new construction company where he going to hire a bunch of guys when the construction company didn't belong to him. He just put on a suit, him and Stinky Inky and the crew. And, you know, they done, They had the kidney water and the list goes on and on. He done scammed a pregnant woman who wanted to buy a house out of her uh, money that she was going to buy a house with and never gave it back to her. He had a guy who had a trust fund from, I believe, his father passed away. Uh, the crypto roots guy look that one up that was a deep one he got so much money this is how much people believed in these cats so he he drained his trust fund and the guy eventually died um he had i'm not sure if it was cancer i don't know what it was but he had some illnesses and stress is um uh, definitely lethal Stress and worry is very, very lethal. And how much more stressful can it get than knowing that somebody not only scammed you of your entire, entire savings and trust fund money, but they also basically punked you because this guy told stories, and I'm sure his videos are still up on the internet about what Polite did to him. He told stories about how he went to go see Polite and Polite had him he was just uh, this is the self-esteem of black people now this is the damages of black people so you want to sit around and say well how could they ever and da, 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 da. sometimes when the world has just been beating on you for you know generations and they done took so much from you and you got some people that look like you and they they know what which spots to hit they can really pull you in Okay, they could really pull you in and you could just fall for it. You could just hope that this person is sincere. You could just hope that this is going to be a key for something successful. And these people are recycling this shit. And Sarnetta is needs to be destroyed. He needs to be dethroned. He needs to not be able to do this to another generation ever again. Ever this is a guy who know full on well that Polite has evil intentions and he still promotes them. He only slips up and talk about some things that he know when he gets upset enough with Polite. And I'm pretty sure at the end of the day, it's over money, right? But this is a guy who knows that this dude is a, you can, we're not supposed to say the word, but you know what the word is of a person who messes with underage girls we know what that word is lie to the people i told the people that you are a bitchable fucking liar a what who gets up there and parade to the people that you bought my car now that you gave me the money to help buy my car you lying bitch this is why i ain't got no respect for you no more you gets up there telling people that you can you imagine that these are the things that made sonetta mad enough to expose some things about polite he told people that he bought my car but when you have person after 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 person complaining about being scammed by this dude that don't face sarnetta at all what my car you helped me buy my car nah nigga what you did was you robbed me every goddamn debate we had you were stealing my money robbing me taking the money from the people that's why i was way more do y'all remember a few months ago, he kept saying, yo, when I come to the um to the gathering, right, I'm going to have a nice big donation for something Y'all remember that? That's one, if y'all remember that. This nigga gets up there lying to the people, talking about he bought my car. Every car that the people see you driving, nigga, is rented for like, even the goddamn house that you in right now is not your house. Why do you think you change crib from crib to crib to crib? It's not yours for like, you, you 
talking to somebody who knows you, nigga. And, and believe me, I got data on you. But see, what you say about me is all good. I don't give a fuck about that. But the shit I got on you is real shit. But like, you don't want to go there. That's Get to that. That's I bought my shit with my money on my birthday. On my birthday, I bought that. The same time, you stole 10 racks from me, nigga. And the only reason why I told the people that we settled it, remember when I said, yo, we good now? We're going to take care of it? Because Polite said, let's tell the people that we just going to, I'm going to give you a donation. So I said, cool. I ain't give a fuck, nigga. Give me my money, nigga. I said, all right. Polite going to give me a donation, y'all. So I rolled with it. I rolled with that shit. Polite going to give me a donation. I said, all right, cool. As long as you give me my money, you can call it whatever you want to call it. Because <laughs> the minute you give me my money and I put that shit in my pocket, nah, nigga, you scared me, nigga. You scared me. Or way more than that. What I told you, Polite, was just give me 10000 mm -hmm. That's what I told you. That's what I was saying to you. I said, just give me 10000 Did y'all catch that? The, with, the minute you give me my money and I put it in my pocket, you scam me? Okay. Thousand back. I don't even care. This is why you didn't even want to show the goddamn books. You didn't show me the books. You didn't show me the receipt. Every time I asked you to let me see the books, you said I left my computer off. See, his anger is about what he feel like happened to him. His anger is not about the people, the many, 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 many people over the many, 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 many years that have complained about being scammed by polite. But well, nigga, I want to go home with you. Oh, I'm going, me and I'm in there going out. We going out. I'll get back to you. Polite, don't make me do it, bro. I'm trying to hold back. And you know what I'm talking about. What all you right? talking about? Polite, you's a lying bitch. That's all I got to say about you. you. I told the people, you can talk good. You, you good with the talking. You can scam the panties off of a faggot, nigga. Mm. You can scam the panties off of a faggot, mm. but I know you. Mm. Don't forget that. Mm. You said I was disloyal to you and dishonest to you? Nigga, you came on my platform. Scamming. The thing is, the, the, Sonetta is one of those. He said, first he a habitual liar. Uh, did he say habitual? Because habitual kind of is like Ebonics short for uh, habitual. I don't think he said vigil. I think he said something else that just didn't make no sense. Like he made up a word. But Sonetta just be talking so much and he don't even try to upgrade his vocabulary or nothing like that. Now, he can scam the panties off of what? Why did he just say, say he can sell Ice Pop to an Eskimo? That one been around before. It's solid. We know that's a good one. We know that works. We know that makes sense because it's so cold down there. They already surrounded by ice. Why, why do they want some ice or a popsicle or something cold? But if you can sell a popsicle to an Eskimo, you's a doggone good scammer, right? But if you want to get some panties <laughs> off of somebody who already want to give you the panties, more than likely, who be willing to give you the panties, right? You are you really that good? Everybody, tipping off everybody, and you ain't give a fuck about me. But I'm disloyal to you, <laughs> family. Do y'all hear that shit? And then you go on to say, Sarnetta, you talked about my kids, you talked about my children. Another lie, y'all. That is another damn lie. That's all that boy got is lies. I never talked about my aunt. Get one video, I would never talk about my aunt. Why, would, why in the hell would I talk about little my aunt? Come on, let's go. Motherfucker. You're a lying bitch, Polite. I know you're a bitch today when I went to Zari, I said, cross the and line. my aunt is Polite's daughter, so that's... I looked you right in your eyes, nigga. Right in your eyes, you didn't want none of that. Then to Zari, I told the other girl, keep your mouth shut right in front of you, nigga. You ain't say a damn thing, nigga. So shut your, bitch. Shut your bitch ass up. Okay. Trying to scare somebody. That's what you thinking. Try it. Try it. I will bust your motherfucking head wide open to the white meat, nigga. The fuck is wrong with this nigga? Now, I do believe that that actually, I, I, I believe Sonetta can uh, whoop polite. I believe just about anybody can whoop polite. So that ain't, I mean, Sonetta, he, 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 he like, what, like 75 years old, something like that. Uh, and he can whoop polite. I believe that. I truly believe that. Trying to send subliminal shots at me like I'm supposed to crawl and run under the damn bed somewhere. Fuck out of here. So you go on to say that Sarnetta talked about.
talked about your kids. Who are you talking about? Huh? You ain't talking about Tasia, right? Uh-oh. You ain't talking about the her, right? You ain't talking about Tasia Barnes, right? I know you ain't talking about her. I knew her before you. Now the thing is, he used see this is well, this is what evil begets when evil was evil and evil uh, mixes with other evils. He uses this girl government name. He uses girl government name because we know her as some something else. Well, like you ain't talking about her, right? The um the one you call Renente, you ain't calling her your you daughter, are you? We know her. Don't do it. Don't make me fucking do it, nigga. Now, now, oh. now, now. Who is that? This is a young lady that Polite has been parading to the public as his daughter. His daughter. We thought, uh, well, I'm going to tell you what I thought. I thought she was the daughter of that second wife that, that we see. I, I can't remember her name, the one that's a model. No, she's not. That that woman don't have no children. Uh, he she came from an ex girlfriend of polites, alleged ex girlfriend of polites, and uh, she ran away from her mother to be with polite. And since she was underage, polite said, "We gonna tell everybody." You are my daughter, but nobody thought to ask, wh- 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 who's, who's, who's the mama? We just made assumptions. But Sinetta knows who the mama is, okay? And it's not a, did you, did you see the, the, the thing, what you got which, which to understand? Sinetta is not making no assumptions here. He very well knows this situation, and I'm going to let him explain to y'all how he knows this situation for a fact. Dr. York, don't make me do it, nigga. Little fucking Dr. York. You ain't talking about her, right? The one that you call Renente. Huh? Nigga, that ain't your daughter, nigga. Cut it out. Don't make me bring her sister right here in front of me. Her sister is my wife's cousin, nigga. You know that. Play yourself. Okay, so here we go. So here we go. So when Sonetta is now telling you guys that, oh, it was just a girl who he 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 used to date, and she, you know, she said something, you know, maybe he caught it in the wind. It was in a rumor mill that you know, polite we had been messing with her daughter, or something like that. I don't really know if that was true or not, Sonetta. You, this is this guy is Satan, okay, Satan. This is the family of his wife. So he knows this situation very well. And this situation has a story to it. Because this young lady ran away from her mother to be with Polite. And Polite was first with her mother. Does that sound anything similar to the case that he is fighting now? It sounds very similar. You know that. Play your motherfucking self. Come on, let's rewind huh? it. Let's the rewind one it. that you call Renente. Huh? Nigga, that ain't your daughter, nigga. Cut it out. Don't make me bring her sister right here in front of me. Her sister is my wife's cousin, nigga. Mm. Mm. You know that. Mm. Play yourself. Mm. You know that. Play your motherfucking self. the mother can't find her and I know y'all like well polite is a public figure his mama can find as he said before this guy moves around okay this guy moves a round a lot leave the fuck alone you can talk whatever the talk 
you want to talk about me, but I ain't never do no foul shit like you, nigga. Never rob nobody, bitch. What is you talking about? Huh? I know you ain't talking about that girl, huh? The one that ran away from home, who snuck out the room and left her mother because her mother left you? You want me to tell the people why she left you, bitch? I'll tell them when you clap back. I'll tell them when you come back at me. I ain't gonna give up everything. Told you it'd be better to leave me the fuck alone. You're fucking with the wrong one, and you know I'm crazy enough to go the fuck in. I'm not scared of getting beat the fuck down. I'ma still go in, nigga. You better kill me, bitch. You better fucking kill me. Fuck is wrong with you? Ain't nobody scared of you, nigga. Ain't nobody in this world is more grimy, low life, scumbag as you. You done robbed from little babies, motherfucker. You done robbed from from women and children, nigga. Fuck is wrong with you? Trying to come back at me, knowing that I got all this shit on you. You get up in here and tell all these fucking lies, and then you try to th see. The thing is, polite has a different type of intelligence than Sinetta. Okay, I'm gonna answer this question for uh, Sinetta. I'm gonna answer this question for you. Polite never thought in a million years that. Uh, Sanetta would reveal all of this because revealing all of this shows everybody what type of dude he is but this is a Satan he doesn't care you understand that? he does not care I don't know what, what why Queen didn't put this in a video since I don't know why you didn't add that right there but um there you go. There you have it. Now, he got a couple more minutes. We're going to let him finish. Right me like I'm scared of you, bitch. Fuck out of here. Everybody know where you live. Yeah, so what? Come get it. Come get it, nigga. That's not true. I'm yes, a crazy if, motherfucker. If you scammed as many people out of, uh, as he has as, as, out of as much money as he has, you do not stay in the same place. Just like uh, Sir Satan said, this dude, um, he moves around a lot. He moves around a lot. He 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 he's not gonna sit around and wait for somebody to come. Not at all. Don't give a fuck. Remember, the dude was downstairs in your hallway with a ski mask on. Nigga, say the name. Say who was down there. Say who was that. He's talking about blue pill, y'all. He's talking about blue pill. Blue pill. And when the bitch ass nigga called me. I ain't give a fuck. I said, so what, nigga? I, I went right downstairs. Guess who was here with me to back it up? Sankofa was right here with me. And Sankofa and me went right downstairs, nigga. Sankofa came back like this. Yo, ain't nobody down there. Trying to make it look like uh, Blue Pill was coming over here to do something damage to me. Sounds stupid. This sounds stupid. He looks. I never exposed this years ago. Oh, the little Dr. York. You already know what that means. You already know what Dr. York was doing. Yep. But look, he exposed him years ago. Okay. What was crazy is like how he knew this and still was chilling with him after that. Like, it hey. was cool with him doing debates and all of that after that. Like, these dudes is all weird. They all weird. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about. Okay, shout out to Renegade Podcast for that video. Now, we're going to get back to uh, Sasate. Just because you right. No, we cannot. But you, just because you knew that person don't mean that you knew he was going to murder somebody. Just because you knew that they were a wife beater. Just because you knew that they do things. You didn't know that that person was capable of doing things like that, but they can't, anybody's capable of doing anything. But now that just because you knew that person made you say that you, you knew that person to do that kind of stuff, no, you, it doesn't. But y'all hold him accountable to everything. Everything. No. At the end of the day, Sonetta can't breathe right because ain't nobody held him accountable yet, or he he, he would he wouldn't be breathing. Let's start there. He didn't breathe somebody else's air. Oh, because Sonetta knew this person. That makes Sonetta affiliated. How is this possible? That makes no sense. But then let this man start hollering and cussing and carrying on. Then we say he wrong about that too. But which one is? I'm gonna get Kevin Samuels on her head. When I called Black Polite, Polite Baby York, we were banging, and I remember the relationship he had with this with this other woman who, who used to be his wife. I forgot her name. She broke off with him, 
And um, she was coming up with allegations saying what he did. He did this and he did that. And and he he's messing with my daughter. And so I heard it, but I don't know if it's true or not. And so what happened was the minute me and him got into a heated discussion, that's when I brought that shit out. And I said, all right, baby, you're, but I don't know if it had any truth to it. I'm going to be honest with it. Listen, I said it because I was hurt. When, you, when y'all say maybe he lied when he was heated and all this stuff, no. No, y'all don't know Sanetta. Y'all don't know how he operate. Sanetta was telling the truth when he was upset. The whole red pill ski mask thing, that was deep. That has a whole storyline to it. He he was talking junk about that. He brought up a few things, okay? He started telling how Polite been scamming him. Polite been scamming other people. He was telling the truth about that woman being related to his wife. This is not the first or the only time that we heard and enough to know that this is true. Sunnet is lying now. There's a guy on here called Uncle Suge. Okay. He's exposed some very deep lies by Sonetta before. Even one where he went and he went to what was it four different doctors he held up a piece of paper it looks like a doctor's note or whatever he said they told him he had HIV or AIDS full blown AIDS one of the two okay and then Sunetta turned around and said I never said I had AIDS he will say something and then turn around and say he never said it it's on the internet for everybody to see and hear and go back and find and replay and all of that. Okay? It's in the Akashic Records. It ain't going nowhere. He do not care. He will turn around and say it's something different. Now, you just heard him try to make it seem like the woman is so distant. So distant from, uh, from him. But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. I was mad at him and he was going at me. But did I say it? Yes, I said it. Why did you say it, sir? See, that's the question. Because I heard one of his baby mothers attacked him, who is no longer with him. And he was supposed to be going to court or going to um to the prison or something like that, right? But guess what happened? The one who said all of that said no, he didn't do any of that. So I was out there looking like a goddamn fool. With a chicken with my head cut off, looking dumb as hell. What is Sarnetta talking about? Did he say one of his baby mothers attacked him? Who is no true or not? And so what happened was, the minute me and him got into a heated discussion, that's when I brought that shit out. And I said, all right, baby, you're. But I don't know if it had any truth to it. I'm gonna be honest with it. I said it because I was hurt. I was mad at him, and he was going at me. But did I say it? Yes, I said it. Why did you say it, sir? See, that's the question. Because I heard one of his baby mothers attacked him, who is no longer with him. And now, is this true or false? Because who is he talking about now? What is he? What is he talking about? As far as we know, Polite has two children by the same woman, and she is still with him. Huh? He was supposed to be going to court or going to um to the prison or something like that, right? But guess what happened? The one who said all of that said no, he didn't do any of that. So I was out there looking like a goddamn fool with a chicken with my head cut off, looking dumb as hell. Because the, cause the baby mother recanted all of that when the police came and everything. And said, no, he ain't do this. No, he ain't do that. Baby mother. And that's why I always say I'm not jumping out the window no goddamn. Can somebody help me with this one? Because I'd never known Polite to have any other children. Can somebody help me with this one? Leave you leave your comments. What what, what is he talking about here? And let me say something, and this is something that we all know. Just because somebody recants a statement it does not mean that they lied when somebody has 
a lot to lose and they have a lot of money. They have a lot of influence. They can do just about anything to try and prevent someone from actually going forward with the case. We know this to be true. Something like this is very serious. And I'm pretty sure Polite is doing everything he can to try and make this situation go away. Get out of there. Don't look at me. Get I said get out of there. And more, because it taught me a valuable lesson. Did you say that, sir? Yes, I said it. I stand on me saying that. But you know what? I'm glad you asked that question, because now I can tell you why I said it. We went at it. We was banging people. No, he was saying, yeah, I bought that car for you. I was like, no, nah, motherfucker, we went to war. So I called the nigga Baby York, and I knew that that shit would hurt him, because he come from the camp of Dr. York. That's why I said what I said. Now, is it true? I don't know. It could be. I don't know. But I know the, the wife recanted all of that when the police came. She didn't make no charge. She, she fell back. No, no, none of that happened. So what the fuck I supposed to do after? What the hell I supposed to do after that? No, fuck that. Be so why is he mixing things up here? Can y'all explain that to me? Why is he mixing? First, we got a baby. We Well, not first, but now we got a baby mama. As far as I know, that that, that there's no such a thing. Okay. And 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 now she recanted the bit. So now he's talking about the same situation he was talking about before. He's talking about remittance. That's been with him for years since she was a teenager. Who's with him now? And a lot of people were speculating, saying that that is um that seems to be a weird relationship. I've heard people saying that before. And I'm like, I don't see, I don't necessarily see anything. I know that he had her into modeling and, you know, when you model there, you could be sometimes wearing, you know, clothes that are kind of, you know, but other than that, I didn't, I didn't necessarily see anything, but they watched them more than I did. So lo and behold, it comes out. And then everybody's like, wait a minute, who is her mama? How did he end up with somebody's teenage daughter and the mother isn't even with him? So what are you talking about now, Sanetta? You making up somebody? Because you're going you to have to tell us who is this so polite out here being a deadbeat? Because hmm? he has two daughters, right? The one that looks just like him and the one that looks just like the mama by the same woman who he's with so are you making up a situation to try and make it seem so far off away from what you said do you think people got sh for oh see this is that this is this is this is what it is with generation gen with, with, with our generation <laughs> okay we still around bro we still here hello do you not you still here so what makes you think they're not going to be people still here that remember a whole lot of this stuff that's been going on? This right here is some, and this, watch this old man up here in the right corner when he get to speaking. I'm going out there. Yeah, this nigga, no, I can't do that. I'll be looking stupid. Did Polite ever mess with young girls to your knowledge? To my knowledge, I have never seen Polite mess with any young girls. I've always seen Polite mess with some fine ass sisters out there. Some beautiful women. I've always seen him around beautiful women. When this shit popped up, I was like, God damn, what the fuck is going on? That's what happened. So that's what I'm telling you. I have never seen him mess with no little young girls out there. And you know people gonna say, nah, that nigga saw probably covering because it's nah, brother, I'm telling you the truth. I've never seen that shit. Okay. Why I've never going, seen Okay, you been how long has he been going on, y'all? It's been more than five minutes. Because we, you repeating yourself. We we get it. What you're trying to say. Until this shit happened right now. That's a that's fact. So yes, go ahead, Garfield. Whatever's going on between me and Sanita, y'all should know better. Don't get in between me and Sanita. All right? Don't pick sides. Because what happened is, you don't know the whole story. What happened is, Sanita got upset. I, I made a comment, and I think Sanita took it out of context. I said something like, Sonata, you, um, what, what did I say? I said something like, you, you, you. Stop playing. Stop playing. You're playing games. I said, you're playing right. games. Sonata took that and I said, hold on, let me explain. Sonata got off mute 
and pretty much cussed me out. Told me to suck his dick and all this shit. No, I didn't say suck mine. I said suck a dick. I didn't say suck mine. I said suck a dick, Marco. Well, all right. So let me, That's let me, what I said. Say. I would never. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Sonny, are you playing a game? And I'm going to tell you, I'll tell you what you're doing. God, Phil, suck a hold dick, up. nigga. Hold you hold playing a game. Hold You're on, a man. bitch, nigga. Hold on, hold on, hold on, relax. Fuck relax. you, Garfield. Fuck me for oh, man. Fuck you, Garfield. nigga. Because you said I'm playing a fucking game. And I'm not playing no fucking this game. What I'm saying. Now, Garfield is one of their affiliates. He's been for years. Um, at the end of the day, none of these affiliates have quite had the success of Polite for, you know, different reasons. And Sonetta put most of his investing into Polite because he knew he was the main, he was going to be the main cash cow. Now, Garfield is 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 trying to um, uh, withhold some kind of um, accountability here for the fact that this is not something that's fabricated. It's an actual case. The evidence is clear. This did happen, and it should not be supported, and polite should not be supported. And that's good. And this is why they're arguing. Okay? And that's good. Like, you know, that is good. But I, I, let's, let's, just, let, let's be clear. Everybody has motives for what they do, and, and if you want my opinion, Garfield, like many of them, would have all loved to have polite spot you know they're not gonna really ever give up that dream and they have some you know animosity towards uh you know um polite because i'm pretty sure a lot of them feel like if he hadn't ever come along you know um they could have been more successful let's say if biggie didn't come along um dylan probably felt like he you know dylan and dylan and dylan you know i'm saying dylan but y'all y'all know what i mean just so many people who tend to get put to the side a little bit when the 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 company the label gets an artist that they feel like oh this is that one but if they had got the nurturing the attention and, and promotion and everything that they needed they could have been more successful so Garfield would love for polite to no longer be a factor, right? And I think that's part of what this is. And and let me further explain to you why I'm saying this because Garfield is not going to detach himself from this. This is we're talking about uh, underage young ladies being violated here inexcusable Garfield is not gonna do you see him bargaining here making it clear that you know we fight but you know we're brothers he's not he's not gonna abandon this uh, affiliation that he has regardless of him expressing that this is not okay he just would like for polite to be bumped out of the situation he would still like to be promoted by this Sir Satan Don King character. Okay? Bitch ass nigga for saying that. No, I'm not. Fuck you, you nigga. Suck a dick, nigga. Hold on, hold on, Fuck you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me I'm playing no fucking game. I said, hold on. My okay. Yo, yeah, hold on. You know where hold I live, bitch. I got you. So what happened is, family, I thought he said suck by whatever. So I said, listen, I'm going to drive down the Harlem and punch you in your face for saying that. Now, I thought he said suck my whatever, whatever, right? So now, at the end of the day, so I Your son is there, Garfield. Your son is right no, there. Why you moved, saying moved, that, brother? He moved, he moved, he moved, he moved. He's all right. We good, we good, we good. See, if Sonny never loved Garfield, he would have never said that. No, because I love your son. That's my little man right there. Exactly. My son come to your house. At the end of the day, son. Your son is there, Garfield. Your son is right no, there. Why you saying that, brother? Now I'm letting this play so I can just let y'all see that they have a, a long history. They have a rapport and everything like that. Now, let's get to where Garfield expresses, or, you know, or tries to express that the situation with Polite is, is not, you can't defend it, and you shouldn't. But Sasein is going to argue with him. Move, 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 move. He's all right. We good, we good, we good. See, if Sonny never loved Garfield, he would have never said that. No, because I... Move, 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 move. He's all right. We good, we good, we good. See, if Sonny never loved Garfield, he would have never said that. No, because I love your son. That's my little man right there. Exactly. My son, come to your house. My issue is that on the police report, right, 
it shows that Polite rented a hotel room away from where the hotel room where the, where, where the mother of the child was, right? 15 minutes away. Now, before he gets into this, let's be clear. Um, Garfield is referring to the current case that is going on, which I'm not sure if I said it before, but Polite took a young lady. I believe she was 14 or 15 at the time. He, he allegedly used to date her mother. There was a Mayweather fight going on and Polite was supposed to be taking this young lady for whatever reason to the after party is what the mother understood. We can all say why, 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 but who knows? He did it. And as Garfield is getting into it, he went to a hotel room with the young lady instead. I feel like this needs to be repeated because this is very serious. He brought the young lady back to her mother. She had his semen on her clothes. It was DNA. Let let me, let me, his semen was on her clothes and it was DNA tested and it was his semen. Okay. You can look that up. Her lips was swollen and bruised. She was dazed and I think they tested her to see if she had been drugged and she was or the mother feel like she was drugged or was drinking or I can't I can't remember the details, but there's plenty of information out here. You can even look at a YouTube video. There's plenty of people who broke this stuff down so it could forever be broke to get to get, you know, full on accuracy. But clearly. She was violated. Clearly. There's evidence to show this. This is in the police report. This is on record in the court records. He rented a hotel room to go there with a 14-year-old. Right? When they found a 14-year-old, she was incoherent, my brother. And she she had sperm stains all over her. Six different sperm stains. Now, watch this. When Polite did the, the, the DNA warrant, the warrant for the DNA, this is the key now. He took the test and it was positive of that the six sperm stains was Polite's. I am saying to you, that's when they arrested him. Once they arrested him, right? Now we, we're, we're dealing with a court case. So we have to see what's going on. They could not, the reason why the court case was being put off because Polite's lawyer could not depose the lady and the daughter. He couldn't, the lawyer couldn't depose them. So when they finally deposed them now, which was like about three to four weeks ago, all of a sudden now we hear there's a plea deal. So if it's not true and it's not real, why, why are we hearing him on record saying there's a plea deal? Now hold on, let me just share my screen one quick second to the family. I don't need to wait until the seven. This is my argument. I'm not forcing you. If you could share my screen, son, I would appreciate it. I am not saying polite. I'm not saying he's not guilty. I'm saying he is guilty and it's obvious something happened. That's what I am saying based on the evidence that's available to everybody in the audience. This has nothing to do with hatred for polite. Now, do y'all see this? There was a motion for a continuance filed on 6-21-2023. And there was a scheduled hearing for a plea set for july the 7th at nine o'clock and that is that was publicly uh shown as well has nothing to do with trying to be polite what is he guilty of um Gotham? he's guilty of everything that he's alleged of because the evidence is clear as day but hold on hold on don't you see sign it up hold on a second hold on let me finish what is the plea deal hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on you see you see this is why people feel like you're defending polite let no i'm finish. asking a question let, no. me, let, me, let, me, let me finish let me finish I'm not waiting to the seven. What everybody in the audience must ask themselves is, why is he pleading to anything? That should be the question, Sonata. Not what is he pleading to. Why is he? Why are you waiting for the seven? He has to. If he's pleading, he's pleading to something according to what those charges are. We all should listen. If I was polite, I wouldn't even be in public, right? I wouldn't even show my face. I'm ashamed of what happened. He did something wrong, Sonata, and it's obvious by the evidence. If I'm innocent of child molestation, I'm gonna fight that till the end. I'm not waiting for the, to, to get taken no plea. So you in the audience, you can't say I hate Polite. I've said Polite is the best debater ever in the history of the House of Consciousness. I've never made a video against Polite ever in my life. And I still don't hey, make- Garfield, can I ask you a question? But no, Sonata, let me finish. Let me just finish. And I'm gonna get back to you in one second. All I am saying to the audience is this exactly. The evidence is there. Don't be lazy. You're quick to, to go research Egypt and research and research 5,000 years ago. Go research what happened two years ago and go step by step. The brother know what he was doing. It was at Mayweather's pre-birthday party, February 27th. That's when it happened. The evidence is there. Don't be lazy. You're quick to, to go research Egypt and research and research 5,000 years ago. Go research what happened two years ago and go step by step. 
The brother knew what he was doing. It was at Mayweather's pre-birthday party, February 27th. That's when it happened. The evidence is there. Don't be lazy. You're quick to, to go research Egypt and research and research 5,000 years ago. Go research what happened two years ago and go step by step. The brother know what he was doing. It was at Mayweather's pre-birthday party. Again, shout out to Queen Stone for broadcasting this because these snakes need to be on blast every chance we get. And you you cannot you cannot deny any of this. This right here is just it speaks for itself. February 27th. That's when it happened. I said, Sonetta, it sounds like you're protecting him. I never said you are protecting him. I never said that. But what I'm saying is, I am making the stand. Sonetta, you don't have to. If you want to wait till the seventh and anybody else, go ahead. The girl was found with drugs in her system and she was incoherent and had alcohol. And she was in the same hotel room with a grown man, a 14-year-old. Would you make your 14-year-old go in a room with polite or any other man? Stop playing games, community. That's what I'm mad at. I'm not mad at you, Sonetta. You can't be me and I can't be you. You're your own big man, but we gotta make a stance. When are we gonna make a stance as a community? This is horrible, egregious behavior. I don't care how many debates he want, I love him as a debater. But as an individual, fuck him. I said that. The brother know what he was doing. It was at Mayweather's pre-birthday party. See, and this like he said, him and um, uh, Sanet are two different people. Well, so am I. Who cares about his debating? The, the, the debates, you can find other people to, to debate, with, debate with. There are intellectuals that are younger than you guys. You know, this world is ever revolving and people are born every day. You have other people in your age category who are older than you, who has knowledge. You have people who um, are young, up and coming, and they have been doing some studying and they wouldn't mind getting a, a chance to, to to try and debate you so y'all can figure out if you're from Egypt or Africa or America or you know you Swahili or you know what you what whatever you want to you NBFA or FHA or you know um you WIC or EBT whatever you want to you know figure out for yourself you can debate anybody it doesn't have to be polite he he wouldn't even qualify or get any credit for anything doing something like this and this is the problem with the world you have creeps like this all over. And just because they have something that people feel like they enjoy or is valuable to them, then they are, oh, that part is okay. But this part, oh, we're not cool with that. No, throw the whole person away. What the hell? Word 27. That's when it happened. Anyway, Sonnet, I'll call you later, man. We figure out what we got to figure out. But peace and love. That's Let all me ask you a question, Garfield. What y'all got to figure out? This is, the, this, is, this, is, this is what I'm saying. What do y'all have to figure out when he is clearly supporting and trying to defend polite actions? As he has done before. And as we already know that he knows that um, he's done this before he... Gunner, you gotta go potty. Okay. Mm. I got a question for you. Mm -hmm. potty. If the court system mm. finds DNA of sperm you cells of, of of your sperm on a person on a rape victim's body, you hear me? Dirt. If they find them stains, <laughs> Stop. would yeah, they yeah. throw out a case like that? Do you think they would throw a case out? If they find all right, y'all, hold on. Okay, that was a long break for us. We went out for a little potty break and did a little find the treat. He's very good at that. There's no more under there, there's nothing under there. Stop. All right, back to this DNA evidence that matches. Would they throw out a case like that? All right, you know, so I need it right I'm now. I'm asking you a question, brother. I'm not saying that's what happened with polite case. I'm, I'm gonna, asking you. Now, you hear what he said? He said, if you have a case where they have DNA evidence, where they throw out the case. He's also saying, he's not saying that's what happened in polite's case because it's not what happened in polite's case. He's bringing up stuff that's totally irrelevant. Again, he is trying to defend polite in his actions. Let's rewind that a little bit. Of 
sperm cells of, of, of your sperm on a person, on a rape victim's body. You hear me? If they find them stains, would they throw out a case like that? Do you think they would throw a case out if they find DNA evidence that matches? Would they throw out a case like that? All right, you know, so I need it right I'm now. I'm asking you a question, right. brother. I'm not saying that's what happened with polite cases. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm asking, asking you a question. I'm going to answer you and say this to you carefully. You know the court system better than Garfield, right? Because you've been here your entire life. I'm not, right. the, I'm not the greatest person, but what I will tell you is this. If you have a case, a, a case against an individual, sometimes DAs will cut, allow you, by law, you're allowed to, ex, ex, to, like, to like give a deal in court cases. So what happened is anything with that girl... That polite admits to our plea to. No, I'm not asking you about hold the on, girl on, on, on polite. Hold on, hold on, I'm asking you something else. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me, can I answer the way I want to answer, brother? Yeah. All right. What I'm saying is, if they don't, they're not throwing out the case. I don't know why you feel they're throwing out the case. You I never know? said they was throwing it out. I'm asking you a question, brother. That's all okay, I'm asking okay. you. But, but any question you ask is going to be connected to. <laughs> See, why well, you can't answer a straight question? Here we I'm go again. Ask, I'm going to ask you. You're acting like a lawyer in here and you're showing shit. So I'm asking you again. Look, Garfield, listen to me. Gonna, this I'm is gonna easy. I'm going to ask if, you. Listen, Garfield, okay. if you got sex semen and they found out the DNA matches every goddamn thing, I'm asking you, if someone was to get a case like that, do you think that they would throw out? A rape charge or a rape case like that? They was just throw that away, Garfield? Yes or no? I don't know, my brother. Damn, you don't know that? I mean, I let me know. tell you this, because I did some research on it. Oh, really? Yeah, I looked it up. I looked mm -hmm. up the shit. Mm -hmm. In order for someone to throw out a case like that, mm -hmm. the other party got to consent with it and sign off with it and say, yes, throw it out. Otherwise, the state cannot just... Now, I don't know about that. I do believe if there's a case and it's an underage... Uh oh, they're cutting a the yard. <laughs> they would not throw out the case even if the other party wanted them to. Now, I'm gonna get past that. We're gonna get to where this older guy comes up. Hold on, y'all. You hear me, sir? Very sensitive topic. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say, so peace out to the family. Hey, well, uh, hey, man, I ain't really got nothing to say because, you know, like, I just think if Polite did what he did, that's the dumbest stuff in the world because he's a very intelligent brother. And, you know, as far as me banging on him, I, man, I, I'm 63. I ain't banging nobody. I just don't mess with him, you know. I Coming up, man, I'm, you know what I'm saying, I'm laid back. I, everybody want to, well, if he did it, I'm banging on him. Nah, man, he, he just what he is, and I'm not going to deal with him. You know what I'm saying? I think this, bro, uh, brother, brother, sir. I think this, and I may be wrong, but, you know, all this money and all this shit uh, Brother Polite was doing, I really think somebody sent somebody at him. And my whole thing is this, man. I think somebody, they sent somebody at that boy, and if he was... Did you hear that? He think they sent somebody at him. Who did they send? The young lady so she can be violated? Um, ignorant enough to take the bait, you know, just call it some damn sex. I think he deserved what he did. You did? That's not my opinion. But I ain't gonna be talk okay. angry on him. Shit, fuck if it. They, he's a dumbass. I'm not gonna hang on it. If they found semen on that girl's shirt, he's not, they're not throwing it. Nah. No. Nope. Don't let him plead down to something lower, but it's still gonna have to do with some form of rape. And if he ejaculated on a little girl, that is rape. You don't gotta penetrate to rape somebody. That's rape. If he ejaculated on a little girl, that's molestation and rape, and they're not throwing that out. They'll let. I him agree. Play. I agree with you, brother. Yeah, I agree with you, but I'm not saying that's what happened in polite case. So I'm nobody not saying knows. that at all. Man, nobody like knows. Inside, nobody nobody knows. knows. Yeah, but everybody would know on the seventh, and that's yeah. why I'm telling the, I'm telling right. people. I said, if y'all want to go in on them, go in on them. Bang the fuck on them. I'm not. Nobody knows what. We know what the facts are. And the facts are that the young lady was violated to a degree to where she was distraught. She was disoriented, possibly have been drugged. Her lips were swollen. He had his DNA, semen DNA, found on her clothing. Those are facts. So nobody knows what. I'm going to stop you, but don't get mad at me because I'm waiting on the seven until I get everything detailed. That way we can see a polite lion or whatever he's doing. The paperwork is right there. Yeah. Si, you, you. Hey, Sai, you're a class A 
um, journalist and you're steady moving up. So that's that's my whole position Wait. with you, man. And if uh, somebody say something slick, you always jumping in, defending people. You see what I'm saying? That's why I said Chris Harris was right. Um, uh, Judah Nash was right when he made them statements about your side. Where your real people? Where the niggas at? Why they not standing up? The only one that stood up for me way before any of this shit going down was Nepal Shadok. And she put her shit on the line and made a video and stood up. None of them niggas stood up, man. Where the fuck what? they at right now? And my wife, Cynthia, the only one that stood up and was like, yo, the hell with these niggas. My wife had my back all the way. Why is me and you arguing and falling out over fucking polite, Garfield? Why? Hey, Sha, you got to remember, you it. asked. You said, hey, you said, Suntan, if I take this interview, what do you think about it? You remember you asked me that? Yeah. I say, shit, man, you better go ahead and take it because you're a journalist. And I left it at that. I mean, if you want to be a half wit journalist, don't take the interview. If you want to do a nigga, say you doing what Sarnetta say. So that's it. That's my position, man. Let me make this statement for the last time. And I ain't going to say nothing else until the 7th. Right. When the 7th come out and everybody see the record, and then you see my stance after y'all see the record, and then you see me still talking like this, then I wouldn't mind. Then I say, yeah, y'all niggas deserve to tear my ass up. Because now you got the you got the stamp on the card. This is the record. He's going to jail. This is what's going to happen. Now y'all can bang. Go ahead and bang on me now. But y'all ain't going to have to bang because I'm going to be banging too. But that's not going to be my whole everyday fucking video. I'll make a video and bang and that'll be it. Right. And then maybe make another video, another thing, something else happen like this. I might bring it up again. But I ain't going to do, do this shit as my content every day. Y'all know what I deal with. Man, these niggas just attacking each other, man. Over right, oh, something that ain't got nothing to do with them, man. Can I say this, too? I ain't never, I'm 34 years old, I ain't never had a social media, none of that ever in my life. This is the only channel I've ever been subscribed to, my whole life. I've never been on social media, it's my first time on something like this. I've been rocking with Saab for 10 years, like, uh, way back with the Scientology with Polite Num and all that. And I've seen all this, and I'm like, how dare that these people that he done put on, and they got their channels and all, all because of Sarnetta, and they gonna get on here and slander him with some rape. You don't play like that, people die for shit like that, man. You call somebody a pedophile and you get on the internet in front of everybody and call a man a pedophile or even hit towards it. No. I came to let to, to back you. So. Do y'all hear this? Now this guy just a minute ago was saying that they found the semen on the girl's clothing. But he's still defending them. This is the scum that's out here. Yes, yeah, sir. You had to check a nigga the other day. Tell me I had. I don't even know Doctor York. So I was man. This man don't even deal with no Doctor York. You know they they just right. attacking people, man. They crazy. But, this is, but see, we are allowing again. We are allowing brother polite and what he's um, going through right now to fuck up everybody in the conscious community or, or the Hebrew, whatever. Everybody is just separating themselves and just fucking up right now. Yeah. And polite sitting back. Polite sitting back. You know, but we at war with each other. While polite sitting back, we at war with each other. Number one, a lawyer, if a lawyer knows a person is guilty, he cannot represent that person that's not guilty. What? That's illegal. It's unethical. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I was going to let y'all hear some sick stuff that the old man said, but I just, um, I'm exhausted. Again, check out this full video. Uh, by Queenstone. It's about two hours. I'm going to share it on my community tab. Leave your thoughts below.